Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to an incredible game, incredible game uh, played by the engine. So my first analysis of the engine games, uh, we have Stockfish, everybody knows Stockfish and everybody loves Stockfish, of course. Uh, estimated ranking for now in 2020, 3495. Stockfish was released in 2008, so we can say it's 12 years old engine uh, and he's gonna play as black and his opponent lila chess zero neural uh, network engine uh, which actually we can say it's it's artificial intelligence which learned the chess from zero this is this is amazing tabula rasa uh, just knowing uh, what are the rules uh, and that's all. So the engine started to evaluate every move starts from, I don't know, maybe A3, A4 and how it's going. Uh, and at the beginning uh, in 2018, after releasing, it didn't do so well in the tournaments, but later uh, better and better and won some of the tournaments, uh, engine tournaments and uh, and among you know stockfish um, alistein and and lila chess zero these are three best engines for now we will see how it's gonna be in the future but for now it's just amazing uh, what kind of games this engine can produce so without further ado let's see what happened on the board lila chess zero starts as white but we have couple of moves you know pre-moves so first we had e4 e5 knight on f3 knight on c6 uh, and Rui lopez on the board and after bishop on c5 quite aggressive variation so c3 and bishop on b6 so this is actually co called cherusek variation in the classical variation of Rui lopez uh, and this was played of course many times by human and uh, um, the engineers just want to see uh, how the, the computer is going to do with this opening. So uh, now we have two main continuations here, uh, castle or d4, but Lila starts with d4. This is choice of, of Lila. And now uh, black can choose from knight on f6 or e takes on d4. If knight on f6, which of course is, is, is correct move, uh, castle, castle, this is the main line and bishop g5 h6 bishop h4 d6 a pretty standard as you see uh, a very balanced variation but you could also ask uh, hey but maybe i can win the pawn on e5 it is actually possible however after after taking the pawn what would you do after the after the castle uh, would you defend the pawn yes it's possible however your bishop gonna be blocked uh, and now rook gonna come to e8, stay on the same uh, file with the with the king. It's always risky in Rui Lopez to do that. So probably uh, after castle, knight on e4, and after rook on e1, knight d6, the game could be, you know, continued. However, it's not played on the top level. So usually uh, these pawns are, are very, you know, carefully uh, selected to, to pick up the, in the very well-known variation. So better to not deal with that. However, However, uh, Stockfish choose another line and not knight on f6 uh, played e takes on d4. We have c takes on d4 and here there is only one line played in this opening knight c on e7 this is the only move here because this pawn center is too just too strong so you cannot just challenge it like something like d5 because after uh, after exchanging the pawns knight c3 is a pretty strong move and now evaluation believe me or not but evaluation is plus two but only if black plays uh, bishop on a5 any other moves and white already have evaluation plus four with the king in the center uh, it, it's just really really bad for black so uh, this position definitely uh, cannot be dealt with the with the moves like d5 or, or any other moves the only move is knight c on e7 and now we have castle by Lila chess zero and now c6 harassing the bishop. And what would you play as white now? Uh, if you want to move the bishop, 
let's say a4, bishop on d3, this is the best move in the position, bishop on c4, still playable, bishop on e2, all of these moves are just great. However, Lila chess 0 doesn't agree with the stockfish evaluation and plays d5. What the move? What the move? This is just mind-blowing move. Now, this bishop is under attack. What to do? Stockfish, of course, grabs the pawn. And now d6. So this is the idea. Lila chess hero told, uh, okay, uh, I gave the, the bishop, but black doesn't have the bishop and the rook. Because these guys cannot, you know, uh, enter the game. So I am up the rook and I can easily, you know, uh, develop all my pieces. So this is the idea. Now, uh, what are the options for black? Knight on c6, knight on g5, or maybe play something else. Like, let's say stockfish is not greedy and play knight on f6. So uh, give back the material and making development, uh, make the castle and everything should be fine. Not really. D takes on e7, queen e7, e5, e5, harassing this knight. And what to do? Remember, rook on e1 is coming with your king still on e8. It's very, very dangerous. So, for example, knight on e4, because the, the knight doesn't really have a great squares to play. Queen on d5, knight on c5, knight c3. And look like look at the, this. You cannot just you know castle because this knight gonna be very very naughty, uh, you know jumping around. So something like a6, but then queen d1 with the idea of forking. Uh, and now I will show you what's the what's the point of that because you think okay queen d8 and I'm fine here. The problem is after knight on d5 yes you can jump but here is the problem bishop g5 bishop g5 and now the queen cannot move because the bishop gonna fall and white gonna be up in material so f6 would have to be played and after exchanging bishop h6 and look at this position uh, it's materially is equal but white are just you know winning the disposition these pawns are supposed to uh, defend the defend the position of black king look at this compare the positions of the king so uh, it's impossible to to play anything like you know developing move if you move the the knight on g6 this is another move which could be played e5 still e5 now defending d6 also the pawn is defended uh, rook on e1 is coming a lot of things is going on so for example b4 before one of the moves where you know this knight cannot be developed easily uh, a3 uh, okay something has to be done you cannot play something like a5 because after exchanging your rook gonna fall so b takes on a3 and now b4 b4 don't care about this this pawn okay uh, a5 and now rook a3 you still cannot take it because your rook gonna fall so rook on a7 preparing but now bishop on g5 we already know that move bishop g5 and after f6 e takes on f6 uh very carefully how you gonna take how you gonna take this pawn because knight on f6 would be pretty bad rook on e1 king on f8 and now knight e5 knight e5 uh, a takes on b4 now trying to exchange the rooks but now rook f3 joining the party here is the problem and if black want to just you know exchange the pieces which looks like very very logical choice knight on e5 rook on e5 maybe rook a5 exchanging more uh the problem is rook f6 and after g takes on f6 this is actually mating net king f7 queen h5 uh, and this is just just insane okay this is just a checkmate uh, and if you try with the g takes on f6 uh, it's it's slightly better i will not show you the the lines but bishop e3 and look all of this idea still alive uh, this bishop gonna be exchanged rook can join also to e3 or or maybe this way it's even faster the knight can jump to to let's say c7 and so on so a lot of ideas here 
uh, and very very complicated game uh, white g definitely have a lot of advantage so uh, knight on c6 was played by stockfish we have e5 so the same idea and now what to play as black because it looks like you know a black can afford to to do something however this bishop on g5 is really really annoying uh if you try let's say you try before okay uh, again uh, bishop g5 can be played immediately uh, and now as you see this queen is trapped so f6 e takes on f6 knight f6 this time is 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 the best move in the position still rook on e1 king f8 a3 so all of this very very similar ideas b takes on a3 b4 and now uh we have the knight on c6 so it's uh, it's slightly different okay uh, before we have the knight on g6 but it didn't work but this knight on b4 also doesn't really work knight c3 and now this knight gonna be really powerful uh, h6 kicking the the bishop or forcing to exchange but now uh we have rook on a3 the rook can come to f3 uh let's say this way a5 and now knight e4 uh, kicking the queen queen e6 knight c5 now attacking the the queen twice so queen have to be moved queen on d5 and now knight d4 making a space for the for the rook okay this is just this is just insane so uh even if you take some material bishop on c5 rook f3 is coming king g8 and it's also mating net rook e8 now uh king h7 queen b1 you see already what is going on g6 rook e7 uh, king g8 and of course queen g6 this is a checkmate so uh, not so easy to play anything uh, any moves on the queen side you have to deal with all of this move how stockfish did that very creative actually very creative king f8 and move the queen to e8 making a space uh, we have knight on c3 so lila chess zero uh, saying okay i still have time i can play that uh, we have queen on e8 just to not losing the tempo here so also pretty interesting rook on e1 and now h6 blocking any bishop on g5 or even um, the knight on g5 but what happened with the move h6 look at this knight this knight cannot move anywhere all of these squares are are you know blocked or or covered by the by the pawn so very very interesting and now knight on d5 and look at this position look at this position all these pieces cannot be developed it's it's just amazing uh how they all are stuck because of this pawn on d6 it's all the position is paralyzed now uh if black want to bring some pieces to the game it looks like only only queen can try like queen on e6 but still we have a4 uh black can try to close the position you know slow down the attack a bit like b4 a5 knight a5 and now bishop e3 okay forcing to exchange the bishops or bishop on d8 still you know keeping the control on the dark squares uh, but now we have knight on f4 attacking the the queen so queen have to be moved queen on c4 knight d2 kicking the queen to the worst position let's say queen on b5 but now queen f3 another threats are coming this is just insane okay these positions are insane so uh actually uh stockfish decide okay bishop d8 first and i'm not gonna deal with all of that later but now we have b4 b4 and black are in almost almost in Zugzwang. what to play next what to play next uh queen on e6 now would be even worse idea because after a4 yes now b four is not possible so b takes on a4 uh b5 knight on a5 and now rook a4 rook a4 and this rook now can join the party as well b6 trying to develop the pieces the problem is after queen on d3 bishop b7 knight f4 knight f4 as the as the knight was attacked twice but this is the right time and now if queen on b3 trying to exchange the queens then queen f5 and the queen cannot help in defense okay so all of this is coming uh, and this is just insane so probably queen has to go back to e8 but then 
e6. This is just crazy move, okay? D takes on e6 is losing because after d7, uh, the pawn is de defended. So queen e7, bishop a3, winning the queen. Uh, and also if f takes on e6, then actually knight g6 immediately. And after king f7, we're gonna have a checkmate and uh, not much can be done here, okay? Rook f4, king g5. And now, can you find the, the checkmate in one move? I, I think you can. Rook f5. This is a checkmate. Of course, it's double check and the king has no, no squares to go. This knight also doing a really great job. So, uh, as you see, very, very difficult position. You cannot bring the queen to the game. Uh, a6. This was played by Stockfish, believe me or not, but there are no better moves here. Now, we have uh, another weakness. This is weakness. So b6 is the is the square which now alpha 0 gonna play against. We have bishop on e3 uh, and now Stockfish is totally stuck and, and have no moves. So h5, trying to develop at least the king side. Uh, we have bishop on b6 and now what to play next? Uh, if bishop on b6, then actually knight b6, uh, rook on b8 and now the, the knight gonna jump to, to c7, uh, winning the dark squares uh, and this is gonna be a really great position for white. So uh, Stockfish tries something really creative. Knight on b4, knight on b4, look at this move. Now if bishop on d8, uh, then after knight on d5, queen d5, uh, and this is the position. White actually achieved nothing. Black gonna, you know, continue the game. Uh, shouldn't have the problem. Uh, Black actually stands better here. Uh, if knight on b4 is even worse, because after bishop on b6, knight d5, bishop d8, uh, white achieved nothing. The bishop still controls all, all of these squares. So uh, not really easy. However, what Lila Chess Zero, uh, you know, does the best, uh, of course, sacrifice the pieces, whole pieces. Knight f6, just sacrifice another piece. Now, what is the idea? Attacking the queen uh, and the queen is stuck over there. If queen on e6 actually is losing, bishop d8. Uh, and now after taking the, the knight, e takes on f6. Queen can escape, queen c4, let's say, uh, but now queen d2. Look at this. The checkmate is coming. Even you play something like knight on h6, uh, queen on g5, rook h7, uh, you're gonna get checkmated. Bishop h7, king e8, and now knight e5. And now the queen is under attack. Uh, queen e6 is actually the best move recommended by the engine. And... Uh, the problem is knight on g6 with the attack on the on the queen. Queen can move to f5, trying to exchange the queens. However, bishop f8, because bishop is protected. This is just insane. This is like, you know, chess from different galaxy. It's, it's just what is going on here. King d8 is the only move. And now queen e3, queen e3, checkmate is coming. So again, queen on e6, but now bishop e7, king e8, queen b6, trying from this side. Knight c6, defending, however, knight e5 now. So not bothering to take the, the queen, but knight on e5, okay? Uh, and now deflecting this knight, uh, and that would be a checkmate. So queen e5 is forced, rook e5, and now rook c5 is coming, taking the knight, and then checkmate, delivering the checkmate. This is just insane. This is just insane. So uh, g takes on f6 is actually forced. So Stockfish plays g takes on f6, e takes on f6, and look at this. The queen is trapped. We have queen on e1, queen on e1, and this is the position we're gonna try to evaluate. What is going on? So both sides, of course, have their rooks, have the knights, have the bishops, and then we have queen against uh, the rook uh, and two pieces. However, alpha zero thinks, okay, this guy doesn't play, so I have the queen for the knight. So I'm winning, of, of course I'm winning. And now what to play now uh, as black? 
the knight is under attack so it looks like logically to to you know make this fork however it doesn't work because queen a5 now winning the bishop so bishop on b6 queen b6 now checkmate is coming so knight on f6 making some space for the for the king uh, but after knight on h4 what you gonna play now uh you want to win the rook otherwise uh, rook gonna join the the party so you win the rook but knight f5 this knight actually controls the the squares so as you see checkmate is coming knight e8 queen on d8 and now uh, rook h6 trying to make some space for the king however uh, queen e7 king g8 uh, queen e8 uh, and as you see it's already uh, a checkmate so it doesn't really you know work uh, this bishop is too strong so maybe take this bishop it still doesn't work because now queen on b4 uh, knight on f6 making this space queen f4 uh, and now bishop d8 it all looks good uh, but now rook can join so as i said you take the rook or you don't take the rook uh, then the rook gonna join uh, knight g4 remaneuvering the 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 knight let's say uh, knight on h6 it's it's better position but it still doesn't work knight h4 the same idea here king g7 now rook e5 and after bishop on f6 rook h5 uh even if you try to exchange the pieces okay bishop h4 rook h4 b6 and uh, develop the bishop at the end it's just too slow queen g5 king f8 uh, and now after rook h6 the queen plays against the rook and the bishop so this is winning for for white so very difficult decision we have bishop on f6 by by stockfish attacking the the rook and now what lila chess zero did doesn't agree with stockfish for stockfish rook d1 is the best move in the position but lila say hey if i play rook on d1 maybe you can move the this this knight to c6 and this knight gonna control dark squares i don't like it nobody can control dark squares these dark squares are for me so queen on b4 uh, and now of course we have bishop on a1 uh, and now how to win this time uh, lila chess zero has the idea knight on g5 knight on g5 and what to play na now uh, if bishop this is very important position actually what would you play as 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 black bishop f6 uh, if you try bishop on f6 the problem is h4 defending the knight uh, and actually if you take the knight h takes on g5 now bishop on d4 is coming maybe queen on c3 is coming uh, and other moves uh, but you have to develop somehow the queen side is completely stuck you cannot even move okay this bishop is blocking everything so let's say rook on h7 trying to go go after this pawn uh, queen c3 uh, rook g7 now f4 defending uh, a5 trying to you know move some pieces now bishop d8 this is actually one of the main ideas here with bishop on e7 as you see already very very strong idea even with the knight on g8 so for example b4 if stockfish don't want to lose the the pawns uh, but still bishop on e7 just exchanging this stuff uh, queen g7 and still at the end we have the rook and the bishop against the queen so uh not really good to take the the knight if you move bishop on g7 maybe it would be slightly better but still queen b3 all of these ideas are still on the board okay knight on h6 defending however now queen on e3 and checkmate is coming this way so uh, knight on g8 bishop on d8 again rook h6 and now bishop e7 uh, and if knight on e7 then now queen e7 uh king on g8 queen e8 and now bishop f8 uh queen f7 and you see already that's not gonna end up well because that's gonna be a checkmate so probably you would have to go uh to e8 but it's still okay queen on f3 uh too many weaknesses too many points to attack and uh, this queen just gonna you know maneuver around and, and play this way bishop on f6 defending just exchange the pieces and now queen h5 
trying to go go this way okay you can try to to block this uh, and and defend however queen h7 knight h6 now defending on f7 uh queen h8 knight g8 uh, queen e5 look at this this queen is so mobile and so active the initiative is definitely on the on the white side so you have to play something like rook on e6 knight e6 and now if you take with the f pawn then of course queen on g7 Checkmate is coming this way or this way. If you move the knight, then of course uh, the, the checkmate is coming. So you have to take with the d pawn. However, uh, queen h8 and the knight gonna fall. And again, we have queen for the for the rook and the bishop. If you try to save the knight, it doesn't work because h5 and this pawn, uh, you know, gonna win the game. F5 making some space for the for the king doesn't work. H6 king F7 uh, and this is just H7 and checkmate in the next move. Okay, you cannot do anything. So uh, definitely very very difficult position. This is why Stockfish tries H4 and maybe then Bishop on F6. However, now is too slow because Queen on B3. Queen on b3 and starting to focus on all of these weaknesses. So uh, attacking f7. We have knight on h6 by stockfish and now queen on d1 again with tempo. So remaneuvering the queen from uh, from b4, uh, but all of this with tempo. And now uh, Lila chess zero wants to remaneuver the queen to the to the f file to to these squares uh, to to make the attack. However, how to do that okay so we have queen on d1 bishop on g7 now queen on e2 still making you know uh the threats checkmating threats so bishop on f6 knight e4 by lila chess zero and now bishop a1 so stockfish doesn't have much much choice here bishop on a1 but lila said okay your bishop belongs to 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 g7 i want to see it on g7 so stockfish goes to g7 and now queen e3 preparing all of that move and now uh, you asking okay what about the queen side I want to bring uh, this rook and the bishop to the game. Is it possible? Uh, if you try something like a5, it's it's everything is too slow uh, because bishop on d8. Now you can try f5, kicking the knight, knight g5, uh, knight g8, uh, because we still have uh, the, these threats. Okay, checkmate is coming. So uh, queen on b3. As you see again, another threat. So knight on h6, and now bishop e7, king e8, queen e3. You see already, this is this is insane. Knight g8, bishop f6. Now with check, king f8, and now bishop g7, king g7, queen e5, uh, and after knight on f6, queen e7. Uh, king on g6 now knight f7 attacking the rook rook h7 knight e5 with check uh, and after king g5 f4 king f4 queen f6 so winning back the material here this guy still undeveloped uh, rook a6 trying but it doesn't work knight f3 and you know what is the idea queen d4 and checkmate in the middle of the board okay this is insane so rook on d6 actually is the only move and white can take the rook or uh, even don't need to because queen e5 it's actually forced checkmate so uh, this is just insane how how lila can calculate uh, you know the positional uh, and these lines are so long so complicated uh, but at the end stockfish see okay this this is i'm, I'm losing here uh, in this position, we didn't have a5. This is just too slow. Knight g8. So Stockfish has to do something about that. Uh, so better to protect against this, this e7 move. However, now we have queen on g5. Okay, so checkmate is coming now on d8. So many threats, so many threats, a lot of happening. We have f6 by Stockfish and now queen on g6. Rook on h6 attacking the queen, so queen f5, queen f7. And now knight g5 with check, king f8, knight f3, remaneuvering the knight. And now what to play next? What to play next? 
the engine recommends something like B4, but this is the stockfish. If you keep it for a while, for longer, it will recommend H3. And this was played by stockfish H3. However, this actually gives uh, Lila the opportunity to bring uh, the resources G4. G4 and of course G5 is coming. So we have bishop on H8, G5, and now rook H5 pinning the knight. Okay, pinning the knight. Uh, bishop on e3 so Lila says okay now you can bring these pieces to the game uh, and Stockfish says okay thank you we have b6 uh, knight on e5 bringing the knight rook on b8 and now very precise move actually uh, Lila could go for the queen on g6 attack the, the rook and also threatening the checkmate wins the rook of course however Lila played more precise move king on f1 the idea is after queen on g6 black actually can sacrifice this rook on g5 with check okay with check this is the one idea but also if bishop can come to b7 can trap the 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 king on g1 okay that's not gonna be very very harmful but it's very unpleasant so king on f1 first more precise and after b4 only now queen on g6 and now there are no checks here because because the checkmate coming here so f takes on e5 is forced and now queen on h5 with the attack on the bishop with the attack on the bishop what to play now if bishop on g7 trying to save the bishop the problem is queen on h3 attacking the d7 pawn okay attacking d7 pawn and you cannot really defend that pawn i mean you don't need to defend it's defended but then you cannot bring the the bishop to the game so all of these pieces you know gonna be stuck there and now the queen come to f5 uh, this pawn can march and this pawn can march and and win the game so stockfish decide okay bishop b7 i need these pieces to be playable even of the cost of this bishop so lila said okay thank you we have a queen on h8 and now bishop g2 with check you see if king is on g1 the the king would be trapped not really harmful because it's still a lot you know to do to 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 maybe uh, make some checkmate it's just you know too long so probably nothing would happen but this is more precise and elegant way so we have king on e1 uh, bishop e4 now preventing g6 however lila said okay queen on h3 is the best move in the position however i'm gonna show you that i want to play g6 so i can play g6 we have bishop on g6 and now queen h3 anyway uh, and now as i said d7 pawn is under attack uh, this pawn gonna be a passed pawn very strong and winning the game so what you gonna do if you try to defend that that is the problem Queen f5 is coming, king g7, now queen e5 with check, and after bishop on d4, you have you have the problems, okay? That's gonna be a checkmate, so probably bishop f7, queen g7, uh, king e8, and now h4, and this pawn gonna win the game. So uh, Stockfish knows that, and Stockfish said, okay, so I'm gonna give up the rook, whole rook, in this position so knight on f6 we have queen on h8 uh, king f7 winning the rook so now queen against the knight okay so this is completely winning evaluation in this position is plus 11 for lila chess zero using the stockfish engine okay so it's completely lost but this is move 45 and the game uh, has, let me check, 106 moves. So now we're gonna have 60 more moves, which doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show you uh, all of this, like how crazy game uh, was this. So for the first time on my channel, I'm just gonna, you know, uh, just go with the moves like, you know, half automatically. So th this, this was what, what was played. Queen on b7 uh, and now f4. What is this move? f4. Lila chess 0 just give the pawn for free. Uh, we have knight on f4. Uh, uh, but, but now activating the bishop and uh, maybe that was the idea. 
Uh, Lila Chess Zero doesn't care about the material, but cares about the squares, controlling the squares. Knight on d5, and then a couple of more moves, couple of checks here and there. Uh, and now, what we gonna have is bishop on d6. Now look at this, giving the bishop, hold bishop, because it's still winning. Uh, and and for stockfish, this move is not even in the top five. Okay, but Lila Chess Zero say, okay, bang, I'm gonna take this this pawn. So uh, we have king on d6, and now again. Okay, and now some more moves. As you see, a lot of some. Okay, winning another pawn, uh, and here h3. H3. This this is of course the trap because the queen could fork, so uh, that's pretty nice trap. <laughs> King on e6, uh, and now uh, the game continue. Oh, and now finally uh, Lila brings the pawn to the promotion. So we have bishop on f3, uh, remaneuvering the knight, uh, and here in this position uh, the knight of course can can jump to c6. However, queen e5 was played by Lila. Uh, and now the, the pawn coming to the promotions, but still not promoting, but bringing another pawn, okay? Look at this, bishop h5, and promoting only now, it's, it's you know, one move before, uh, so very, very precise. Uh, and here, uh, h5, h5, of course, winning the bishop, uh, every human probably would just play something like, you know, queen on g8, bring the, bring the queen here, uh, and move the, the pawn and win the bishop, of course. However, we have h5. And after bishop on h5, queen e5, attacking the bishop. And the bishop doesn't have really much squares, okay? Uh, because of the tactics. This is very simple tactics. So if the bishop moves somewhere here, of course, this is losing immediately. But then we would have the, the fork. So bishop on d1, but it's, you know, run out of the squares, a king on d2, and now the bishop is lost. Okay, so bishop on b3, and now winning the bishop, and this is the end. This is what happened to the end. Okay, so that's what happened. Last 60 moves, sorry I didn't follow that, but I think it would be pretty embarrassing. So, so for the first time, uh, I, I just decided just to go, but... I just wanted to show you a couple of, of the ideas what, what's going on. However, so this game was just insane. Look again, look again, d5, sacrificing the bishop. This is insane, okay? Just to get the initiative and dark squares, control on the dark squares. Uh, and and this, this pieces just cannot move, this pieces could move but as you see all the variations are, are pretty crazy and it's just losing this this game is just insane and showing how the initiative uh, is more important than you know even whole piece uh, th this this game is just just insane with the rook on e1 all of these ideas winning the queen it's it's just insane game if you like this game Press like if for some reason you don't like it, press and like and, uh, and yeah, leave the comment if you would like to see more games of the of the engines because some of these games are really insane. A lot of them uh, end up in the draws. However, a lot of them are also, you know, insanely beautiful. So uh, if you would like me to, you know, find other games so, so beautiful, then leave the comment and uh, if you don't want to miss any other games, Press subscribe, smash the bell button, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.